Hi guys, I'm having a drink because, well, I hate this knife. I didn't like it the first time. I don't think I like it now. We're going to look at the Vision Field Grade by Civivi, which actually is a safety improvement for those of you guys that did like the original knife. It's definitely a safety improvement over the original. So let's turn us around and take a look at it and see how much they've polished this turd. So here it is, guys. That knife that I absolutely got the most heat about talking about this super lock. This is the Wii Vision R. And if you remember back, I did a video and I said that this was dangerous. It got released with a flaw in it and a bunch of other stuff. And people absolutely told me I didn't know what I was talking about. But Jim Skelton and I both agreed absolutely unsafe the way this knife is. So let's go ahead and look at the knife itself. So you're looking at 20 CV titanium. It's a Snex design. It has an ambidextrous spine mounted pocket clip. I've never been a fan of these. I didn't like it on the grams. I definitely don't like it on this. It had this really lightened body because it had all these speed holes in it. And then it came down to this almost kitchen knife style blade, had a big aperture in it. And for as far as the way it did cut when I used it, not unimpressed with that. But there was a litany of problems with this knife. First and foremost, hate the pocket clip. But then the big one, the really big one is this knife is unsafe. You saw that I did not do anything special. I simply pulled back on this knife as I would with a lot of knives to do a quick release. Like uh, if you hit that button, because you're going to pull back on it until it comes up and all it takes is a little pull upwards and you've now disengaged your lock. There is no lock on this knife. It's all willy nilly and then you got to push it back in and then you can re-engage it. Now, they tried to say when I did videos about this, I had a lot of people contact me and they said, oh, well, that's a feature of the knife. It's supposed to be so you can clean up in here easier. You can just pull that out and you can clean up in here. But I don't buy it. I really don't buy it. On top of that, it made the knife uncomfortable where the lock placement is. That's one of the problems I have with the shark lock. It can be uncomfortable. And then you've got this spine mounted pocket clip. This was just not a good knife overall, in my opinion. I don't like the design. I definitely don't like the lock. I hate the pocket clip. And it's not a knife I would enjoy. Well, here's the thing. We and Civivi have basically reissued this knife in a new format with this knife that they call the Vision FG or Field Grade. Well, so what you're getting is a little bit less expensive materials. So you've got micarta on liners. This is done in a pattern welded Damascus looked steel, like a pattern welded steel. Um, you can obviously see there's a lot of high nickel content material in there. One of the things I didn't mention, I hated the aperture on this. It was in a bad spot. They have replaced that with thumb studs, which I find to be a much better deployment on this. It is ambidextrous and you've got an ambidextrous pocket clip. But the big question is, did they fix the safety issue with the lock? If this was, if this was a feature, which I still say they're full of shit, if this was a feature, then it should still be present in this knife, but it's not. You cannot disengage that lock from the tang of the blade. It's now locked in. It's a permanent part of it. It makes this a much safer knife. You've got a reliable lock. I can't trust that this not, I don't believe that this is a reliable lock. If it comes out of its lockup accidentally, that's how I found it out the first time. Um, they've replaced the spine mounted pocket clip with a pocket clip here. And they've put a little bit of jimping that was lacking from the original Superlock. And the Superlock bar itself is a little bit thicker. But pretty much everything on the knife has remained the same. So is it better? No, it's still not a good knife. It's still crappy. I still hate this knife. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get this dangerous one out of the way. And take a good close look at why I still don't like this knife. So the things that I didn't like about it the first time... I still don't like about it this time. The lock mechanism is uncomfortable. It's in an area, even they put some jimping on it. It's not good jimping. It doesn't really serve a purpose, but it's in an area that I just find obnoxious and uncomfortable. You're going to notice that the pocket clip is on the left-hand side of this. Well, it came that way to me from my friend Tino because he's left-handed, but I put it over on the right-hand side to try and give it a shot at carry. And this pocket clip is so far up and so 
obnoxiously tall that it just digs into your hand. As uncomfortable as this was, every bit as uncomfortable, they just have given you discomfort in a different spot. This should have been down further. It could have, if it had been down further, it wouldn't have been like right in the heel of your hand. And then this, I can definitely even feel that. It's sharp. Uh, the knife wants to roll out of the cut. And then, like I said, just uncomfortable. And I don't like the way the lock feels. I do have to say, action on this is way better than it was on the other one. I think the tension is a little bit stiffer. And I do like the fact it's micarta. But there is... This in no way redeems this knife. I honestly would say this would be, even though this is like only like $100, that's $100 I wouldn't spend. It's, it's an okay looking knife. But when you put it in your hand, it just absolutely feels, it's horrible. Like I just don't know, like I've never liked any of the Snacks designs. I really haven't. He's a good enough dude. Um, a lot of people like his stuff. It's, I just don't understand why these knives are like this. At some point, the gentleman that designed this knife held it in hand. And at some point he went, yep, that's the way I want it to feel. And this is to knives what that female Australian dance, uh, break dancer was to dancing. It's, it's just, it's horrible. So with that being said, guys, there you go. I probably have irritated and pissed off a good portion of the knife community. So is it a yup or a nah? It's a nah on both of these. This would be money that you should have spent recklessly on something else. So let's turn this around and do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. Yeah, I, I absolutely hate this knife. Um, I, I understand why some people do like it. It's, it's like the, the, uh, the Spidey Chef and things like that. It's up those lines of knives that I really don't dig, but some people do. I'm just glad it's safer now. It's still uncomfortable and it's still hideous and it's absolutely not a knife I would carry or buy, which is why I'm glad that I have friends that are collectors. So guys, that's it on this one. Um, I'm pretty sure that I put something on the screen about like, sharing, and subscribing. Best things you can do for a channel. I'd absolutely appreciate it. If you want to get in on the memberships, you can check that out. Um, everything down below is what sponsors the channel. I don't have any actual sponsors anymore. I have a bunch of affiliate links down below and an Amazon store. And a couple of those links down there, the Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trail, have discounts built into them. And I also have coupon code CRAZYSHARP, all one word, all lowercase, that will save you 10% at Rosecraft Blades, Katsu Knives, and uh, Fair and Forge Knife Works. So all that stuff supports the channel. Um, so guys... That's it on this one. You know what to do. Go check out the memberships. Check out the public Discord down below. I love you all. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go finish this beer.